John here guys and today we're talking about the Fusion Drones. Fusion Frame, check this thing out. Now what's really special about this frame is two things. One, Fusion Drones is ran by a young man, Cristiano, and he is one of the innovators in FPV at some, such a young age. Being able to run uh, a business like that is really quite impressive. So let's all give props up to him. And this is special in a second way in that it is a collaboration with Mayday. Mayday. Mayday! Mayday! Mayday, what the hell is that for? The famous FPV pod designer. Chances are, if you have raced any frame in the last few years that had an available 3D printed prod, pod, it was most likely designed by Mayday. And uh, Mayday is local to me. Actually, I've met him several times. And he came up with this very impressive design. Now, first thing you notice is that um, it has three motor holes on the arm ends. And check out this very unique um, motor protection design. It's sort of rounded off. Uh, and I think that that round edge would allow in a tumble it to kind of sp you know, spin. It also has the cage that you can see over top. Now this is a super unique cage design. Um, it sits on top of the arms, which the arms are held in by a dual plate system. You have your bottom plate, and then the little mini top plates don't run across the full length of the frame. That gives you more stack height to be able to adjust your build volume in there. These are just little small uh, pieces of carbon that create a sandwich over the arms. The arms also meet in the middle. That means that there is going to be so <laughs> like very little amount of play in there. Um, the, the bottom plate is uh, drilled so that you have your screws sitting flush in there. It is countersunk. And there is a special feature, boom, pop the top. This pop the hood functionality that's built into this fusion frame is really something unique uh, on the market because normally when you have a cage design like this, you get a little bit of extra protection, but what you sacrifice is the ability to access your stack. And this one works in such a way that with the removal of two screws, you can rotate the entire top up and it is completely out of the way and you can access everything. That means that you don't have to remove or adjust your camera at all. And the way that this attaches is it's sort of like a, a TPU bulkhead and the screws that go to the center of the arm come all the way on the top and uh, there is a tiny little uh, divot or, or hole inside this bulkhead that sits on top of the press nuts in the middle. And then you have some, I believe these are M3 or M5 um, nuts at the top that hold it all together. So that means a couple things. The entire camera at the top is going to be uh, a little bit isolated by these TPUs to so have a little bit of extra dampening should keep the image very clear. It means that it's, I just love doing this. I mean, check this out. Look how awesome this is. It's so fun and cool. I can't wait to get this thing built up. Um, it has dual holes for 20 by 20s. If you want to run the kind that you need to run further up or further back, has 30 by 30 mounting holes, of course. Uh, it comes with a little SMA uh, holder right there so you can put your stubby on the back. And these cages have a variety of options. This is the, the nice blue one, but there is going to be ones with turtle mode fins on there. There's also a pod that's going to be available at some point. Uh, so this is such a versatile frame. 
I do like the amount of uh, stretches. It's gonna, I can already tell this thing's gonna fly well in the air based on that. Another notable thing are the little camera holes. Now the camera um, does not mount onto this carbon cage. There's these little TPU things that push in there. And I noticed that the frame came with two different sets. One with the camera holes closer to the edge, one with it a little further back towards the center. And that accommodates, like I'm running this up front because I'm probably gonna run a Runcan Robin or a Foxeer Micro Aero Pro. But if you were running something like the Predator that has a lens that's a little bit further out, it's gonna sit a little bit further out there. I do like this option and because it's also sitting in another layer of TPU, um, it's also gonna give you some camera dampening there. So really excited about this one, guys. I'm trying, I, I cannot wiggle the arms. <laughs> I really think this is gonna be awesome. I have, um, since I am local to Mayday, I saw him and some of his crew doing some early testing of this several months ago. I've been very curious about it. So I'm super happy to finally have a production model of this. Thanks, Cristiano. I'm gonna get this built up very soon. I think I'm gonna go 20 by 20 on this one. And uh, I just need to decide on the motors, probably something Hyperlite because it's, it's blue. <laughs> but uh, thanks guys, look forward to this one.